I have learned that uh, I may have put my uh, bearing on incorrectly, or rather, the, the bearing grease seal on incorrectly. So I've got to um, take this all apart. Yow! I think I put the uh, cotter pin on this. I was going to do that later, I believe. Dropping your bearings is bad. Now my bearing is covered in grit. I'm going to have to clean it off and repack it and... Crap. Okay, well, I should have been a little bit more careful there. Alright. But I thought that the way you were supposed to put all this stuff together uh, was that you put the uh, the seal on and then the bearing and then the rotor on top of that but apparently you put the bearing in the rotor and the seal on top of the bearing um, and then put when it's all together put the whole shebang on the uh, on the spindle and as you can see I've, there's some grease up in here where there really shouldn't be uh, that's because here's my uh, seal just kind of hanging out right here, sort of hanging out. So that's not right. And I've got to get this bearing off. Come on! Right? my seal. This is how it goes in. I don't know if this is proper. My advice was to put a 2x4 across it. But I really don't have one handy. Alright. Now with both bearings in the uh, in the rotor, hopefully I can put it on correctly this time. That one turns real nice. Still going. Oh, I have made such a mess. And this one doesn't turn as uh, turn as much. I hope that's okay. Well, I've got the tie rod, the outer tie rod end off. I would like to take the inner tie rod end off here. And uh, I've been beating on it with a pickle fork to get it to come loose. 
but uh, that hasn't been really working out for me very well. So I went to Harbor Freight, and for 20 bucks, I purchased a, uh, a ball joint separator. Now here's the uh, outer tie rod end, but this will just show you how this thing operates. You uh, place it across the part that you need to come out. This, uh, this post here is sitting inside my steering arm and you just put it on there like that and then there's a, a bolt here that screws in and as you screw it in it starts pushing the uh, jaws closed like that and it forces this pin out of my out of uh, my steering arm so that's how I'm going to get that out I'm just going to hook it up over there and pop it loose. Well, that was dramatic as hell. I was uh, attempting to get my tripod set up underneath the car so I could continue to, so that you'd be able to see the moment at which the, uh, at which the ball joint separated on the tie rod. And uh, I had left the wrench on my uh, on my separator, just sitting up there, and it was tight. And uh, as I was getting my tripod set up, it went bang, and uh, the tie rod end there gave up the ghost. And way over there is where the uh, tie rod end landed. Uh, so. Yay, it's loose! Now I can hook up my new part. I really thought I was going to hear a choir of angels when I got this done. Both tie rods are uh, connected. My shock absorbers are inside my coal springs. Uh, my sway bar is reconnected. Um, cotter pins are everywhere they're supposed to be. I still need to get the grease fitting uh, in the inner tie rod ends. Those are also called zerts. But I'm going to leave that up to the shop that's going to do my alignment. All that's left to do is put the tires on, clean up, and then I can lower her down. Obviously it's been a little while. <laughs> I have some sort of infestation going on here on my old tire. Oh well, these will be getting changed out soon enough anyway. All I have to do is put them on so that it'll roll. Uh, the wheels are too small to mount the calipers onto, but if I leave the calipers off, I can still, there's enough room to put the wheels on. I'll be getting new wheels later. Of course, it's always something. I don't think I'm clearing my caliper. Notice how little space I have on this bolt, on this lug nut. Just barely comes out over the lip of the rim. Whereas on these, I've got plenty of space. Watch what happens. Ah. Look! it comes out. So what that tells me is that I'm not clearing uh, uh, my caliper right here. I can't put these wheels on. I've got to get new rims before I can put wheels on this car and get it out of mom's carport. To be continued.